What up everybody, Phil back again, another video here. 16th scale of course, like I said on my previous. This is a 116th scale, my favorite series, the Case 1270 Collector's Edition. I do have a box, it's in my basement, I didn't want to have to drudge it up. I'm trying to limit my walking, I just went back to work and my, so far my foot's doing good, but just trying to take it easy on it. These are my favorite, of course, everybody knows the Agri Kings, always loved these tractors, my God, and just the memories I have of the farmer right adjacent to our house. We had chain link fence run the, run the length of that field on our property line, and he had Agri Kings, and he'd always farm those fields with them, and I, when he'd come down through there by our house, I'd be out there with my face pressed up against hard against the fence, and that's how I fell in love with these tractors, pretty much. Just uh, so many great memories for me personally with the uh, Agri King series, and I will really truly love them. Let's uh, take a look at tractor data. I never brought it up, but I don't know if anybody else really loves these like I do, but I ser seriously do have an infinity for this series of tractors. And I love the desert sunset against that power red. That's a really, probably to for my eyes, the greatest color scheme on tractors there is. All right, tractordata.com says the JI Case 1270 was produced between 1972 through 1978. Part of the 70 series Agri Kings, of course. JI Case manufacturer, Racine, Wisconsin. Original price was $30,000 in 1978. PTO tested 135.3 horsepower. Drawbar tested 116.7 horsepower. Nice picture of one there. Now this was a collector's edition, I think 2009. It says it on the bottom. It's stamped on the casting. We'll take a quick look at it. It's got a PTO back here on this one side. did break off on me. Some, no, it didn't break off. It's just loose. It's fine. There's that center link and PTO drawbar. Of course, back here's your fuel tank, I want to say. Work lights, flasher lights up on the cab. Of course, you got your classic looking Niagara King cab. Inside the cab, it's actually pretty plain Jane. Kind of like a shelf model, really, to be honest. Nice work lights, insert lights on the front here. Other side of the front of the cab, you got your steps for entry to the cab, your handle for getting in there. Love the desert sunset paint against that power red, that's really cool. On your hood there, your intake, your muffler, very tall muffler by the way. Decaling on this side, 504 turbo case, 1270 Agar King engine casting same on this side 504 turbo front grill black screen front weights are metal part of the molding of the, of the tractor now underneath the tractor right there is where it says collector's edition 2000 and Eight, two thousand and eight, not two thousand and nine. Tires are rubber all the way around. Very tall, classic case rear tire there. Rear wheel has uh, metal. This tractor is pretty, really pretty heavy actually. Nice wheel weights. Silver outer part of the rim. The power red on the on the inner center part of the rim. Classic Ertl three ribs on the front there. And there's your outer front rim silver and then your power red with the center cap there. Such a nice, nice replica there. 
All right, I'll move on to a quick comparison. Let's do that now. All right, everyone, I'm back. Here's my Case 1270 Agri King Collector's Edition 2008 alongside my IH Farmall 560 Prestige. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, everyone, case 1270, collector's edition from 2008, 116 scale by Ertl, great, great replica. I think they're pretty pricey nowadays in the aftermarket, but they're really nice replicas. Really, really nicely done. I, I love these tractors. <laughs> Can't tell you how much I love them. All right, everyone, I'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone that tunes in. This is Phil for Replicas of the Past. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.